Hello? Yeah, that, okay. So, um, uh, hold on. Uh, so you don't have the, um, the buyer uh, financial information? We do not have the financial I information. Do. I do, but I can't give it out. It's due to security. We can't give that out. Yes, right. So in order to do a payment, now, there is a way. If the payment was on hold, somebody goes to refund. It'll actually show the email address that the refund's going to, so they yes. can get the email address that way. But once since the funds are on hold, it doesn't have the refund link available. So we can't help them see that email address. So without an email address, they can't send a payment to them. Which I've been telling them all day. So the seller is supposed to send me the item and then the I... The buyer is supposed oh, yeah. to send you. Sorry, the buyer is supposed to send me the item and then I refund afterwards. Is what... The only way that it can possibly happen. Which eBay confirmed multiple Which times. Which eBay's confirmed multiple times. Yeah, but. I understand that. Unfortunately, because it's through eBay and eBay won't allow that, uh, needs that, I don't know how they they want us to proceed when we can't give that email address. Any suggestions, eBay? Uh, well, uh, for us, uh, we do not have, uh, we cannot actually. Um, compromise the uh, our uh, buyer's email because uh, we don't even see if it matches uh, the eBay uh, email address. Okay, so here's the question. Since you're requiring the seller to send them money, how are they supposed to send them money if you can't share the email address? You're, it's your requirement that they do this, not ours. Uh, so if you're requiring him to send money to create the, so they can create a label, how is eBay making that happen when they won't provide an email address or allow them to get it through the messenger? Actually, we do not have the, um, I just have to verify information, all right? I'll be right back. <laughs> I've been dealing with this for the last two and a half hours. I understand that frustration because we get calls over here that eBay sends them over to us to create labels. Return, we don't do that. I, I, I know. I know. I've been. That. I've been trying to tell them this all day, and they just keep saying, "Go, go to e, uh, go to PayPal, go to PayPal." And I'm like, I need the information. I can't. Yeah. And that, and I'm not protected. But the worst part is that they. Like, if I did that, they told you what the policy was to three day, four days ago. With them to get the email address from them, but they're blocking that attempt as well. Yeah. Uh, I guess I don't know what their solution is, but if they're going to require that you send them money for the return label, they're going to have to find a way to get the information so we, you can send it. I mean, uh, you know, they say they're telling you to send the money. How can you send it? They see through PayPal, then you need an email address. Exactly. Like, it's, it's just a vicious circle. That's all, all it's been all day. It is. Well, it is. Now, in the, uh, yeah. See, we have this little trick. Like, if you can go in and go to refund it, that lets you see the email address. I'm not really telling you. You're seeing it in your account. Exactly. But since the payment's not hold, it won't happen. He hasn't. Uh, they haven't sent you any other payments, have they, by chance? No. No. Okay. Uh, the eBay rep I dealt with four days ago. Understood. Understood this whole part. The eBay rep I dealt with four days ago. It's like. Even confirmed that, like, yeah, the, the the buyers would have to send it back, and then once once I receive the item, then I can do a refund that get way. Get them extra. And then just 
add extra on to the, the refund. That that's the most common way that it's always, that's the way it's always been. Like, you get the item back and you now go... No, nope. never. Back, but usually it's before a case is filed that they'll will help them send it back up to I think twelve times a year and up to a certain dollar amount. But they have to be registered for that, and then they have to actually ship it at their cost, and then you we reimburse them. Oh, okay. It's called free return shipping. Yeah, no. That's a... but that's the way we help with that. But the buyer has to sign up. Oh, I guess to put the other thing. Yeah. No, I don't think the they're signed up for that way, so Yeah. Um yeah, unfortunately, uh, without an email address. I mean it seems simple enough that I wish I could just give it to you. Do you um, yeah. No. no, they don't. No, he's a they, reseller is what oh, he is. Like, they don't use the same account for buying and selling, so I yeah. don't know who they sell as. And you don't have a phone number for him by chance or anything, do you? Nope. No, nothing. No, this is... And will eBay let you have their phone number through the thing? Probably not either. So probably not. Like, you can't ask for that? You, uh, you can't ask any you person. Ask for the phone number. You used to be able to ask for that, but... Oh, yeah, I think they yeah. blocked that now, don't they? I don't know. They usually block most personal information for you. Honestly, I, I don't think the guy is going to cooperate with you because he's setting this whole thing up as a scam. He's I, I can't see him cooperating. Even if you did call. I mean, the only thing I can, you can do is tell the... I guess you can do that through the eBay messenger. You can tell them you'd like to send the money, but they don't allow you to get the email address through, PayPal, uh, through eBay. And you need an can you put your phone number on there? No. No. Because it's a request to you. communicate off-site. That's against eBay policy. Yeah, that's against eBay policy. I mean, you, can send him a me- you can send him a message at least to let him know why you're not doing this. You can say... Well, oh, I, I could send him that, money, that, that message. I need an email address and eBay won't give it to me. Yeah. So I, or allow me to get it. Yeah, and then... But, yeah, eBay's policy... Uh, what? What was that again? You can't. Yeah, you, commu- can't, you can't. You can't communicate. try to communicate off site. Off so eBay site. So you can't site. give out phone numbers or email addresses. That's, that's I guess eBay's policy as well. So I, I try to avoid defects here as well. So it won't be a defect. You'll be banned. Oh okay. They'll say you try to sell off site or something, and they'll ban you. So that's what I've said. The that, that, payment. See, that's what I've asked too. Like, if they're so just, confident in this. Yeah, like they, but they won't. I don't think they're willing to do this. Like, they're so confident that this is this buyer's so trusting, and they'll send them, they'll send the item. Like, why don't they just front the cost and just take it off of, at the end? But I haven't received that. I haven't received an answer on that one yet. So. It's against uh, eBay policy. That. It said they won't allow them to send that email address through the messenger. We could uh, ask for it, but uh, the, it, they can't uh, send an email with the message. From our, uh, that's okay. The, uh, our seller uh, will be able to ask our buyer to send to 
uh, because he is sending postage money, uh, which is linked to her PayPal account. So uh, that is possible. But uh, if it comes directly from our member or the buyer, uh, it cannot come from anybody else because uh, our uh, members have a lot of email address uh, on their account, associated to the account. So uh, we cannot provide. Okay. Uh, so, cannot, yeah, so, he can ask, so he can ask directly through eBay Messenger for them to provide their email yeah. address that's on their PayPal account. Yes, sir. But they can't that's reply correct. with the email address. And then once you have that email, sir, then you can go to send money and send them the funds. But they can't, they can't reply with an email address. eBay won't allow that message to send. She's just saying it will. It, it won't. Uh, uh, <laughs> it, it's okay as long as uh, from the American. All right, uh, because as per our email, our uh, buyers. Uh, well, I guess that'll be his problem, though, won't it? Yeah, technically. If that'll be his problem that he's not replying to you. Email address. Okay, well, I, Are they I'll backing you up on that when he doesn't respond? Okay. Yeah, okay, eBay. Uh, I will send him a message asking for his eBay. Uh, asking for his email. But if he doesn't respond, am I getting backed up on that? Because he can't. Because he won't be able to respond. If he, like, will. Like, what will happen then? If he does not respond to this email, or does not give me his email address, am I going to be protected over this? Oh, yes, definitely, because uh, you're doing Okay, then that's reason. what I'll do. Uh, the reason why uh, you, uh, you need their email uh, is that uh, you are sending them postage money. Okay, so if I send that... That, e uh, that message to him, how many days before I have to, uh, does he have to, uh, they need to, to extend your claim. To extend that claim. Alright, uh, actually it's indicated on the email. Today. Right, it was today. He had to today to do this. Okay, so... Okay, so but he has till today now. then. It's according to the email that you guys sent me, he has till today. So I will message him right now, and by the end of the day, because apparently what happens at the end of the, uh, this five days? Well, they were supposed to close it in your favor. But how long? Three, let's go three days. Let's go three days. Three days is plenty. Three days. Three days, yes. Okay. And I want email confirmation of that. And I want email confirmation of that. Oh, yeah, apparently it is. So, thank you, okay. PayPal. Well, I hope that works for you. So, I'll, I'll let you two talk. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ted. All right, sir. So, uh, Steven? Yep. So, yeah, uh, we, are, uh, we can ask uh, your buyer for their... PayPal email address. Um, let's just be sure to explain that you're asking for this information in order to send them money for the return label through PayPal. All right. So I you will... can use uh, the shipping calculator on the shipping service site to find out how um, much return shipping rate. Okay. Um... Okay. So, but I, I want an email confirmation that this is being extended. That this is being extended. I, I need an email confirmation that this is being extended for three more days. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you will be getting an email confirmation. Uh, shipping, return shipping for the buyer. Yes. And can I get a reference number for this phone call? Okay. So, yep, we uh, requested. Uh, 
I reply to the seller with their PayPal email. So yeah, I know. Uh, the, what I meant is we're putting the case on hold because we're requesting the email, uh, the PayPal email address of the buyer. Okay. okay. So that's why we're putting it on hold. Okay. The buyer back to the seller. And uh, can you have a reference number for this phone call? Yep. One dash two zero three six four nine six zero six seven zero zero. Okay. Right, thank you. So are you sure it's just three days to put on hold? Yep, that would be more than enough time for them to reply. And I will. Okay, and I will send him a message. Okay, and I'll send him a message right away. And I will send him a message right away. Yes, that's right. All right.